Hi guys, I've been asked to share some thoughts with you on the use of music in film. It's obviously something that I can talk about for quite some time, but I have to try and keep it short. So yeah, let's get right to it. Um, I think the use of music in film is something quite intuitive and each project has its own requirements and at the end of the day, I think the best way to learn how to use music is to watch films and to be very aware of what the music is doing, the atmosphere of the music, where it is placed, um, and to yeah, just become aware of how the music and uh, the visuals and the dialogue and the editing, how all of these different aspects are interacting and at the end of the day almost weaving into one another and creating a type of dance. Um, I can always sense when I'm working on a project uh, if it's working. You just see that all the different aspects of it are coming together and just creating a rhythm and uh, a structure that works. It's something that you feel. Um, music conveys quite a f lot of different uh, things and I think first and foremost for me it's the things that are unseen. The spirit, the essence, um, maybe it's a bigger idea that you're trying to convey. Um, those things that you can't say in words, in dialogue or in visuals. I think that's where music steps in and carries those messages. Um, sometimes music communicates more directly what the different characters are feeling or a collective collective of characters, what they are feeling, what the atmosphere is, what the emotion is, the inner landscape of that character, um, or the situation that they are finding themselves in. Uh, so yeah, this is something that needs to be uh, portrayed quite carefully, you know, and I think having a emotional depth and understanding of character and uh, personality uh, gives you that uh, or those tools to be able to convey those emotions to the viewers. Um, sometimes music can also be more playful, more direct, not as um, ethereal or metaphorical as that. Uh, a lot of times you see this in musicals where the music actually integrates with the scene and becomes more playful um, in almost more to the surface of what's happening. Um, yep, I think that those are my thoughts just very briefly on the, on the use of music. Um, but I definitely feel that this is something intuitive, not something that you really, uh, that you are able to dictate um, and generalize. Um, I think each uh, project has its own specific requirements, its own characteristics, and to be open to that and to try different things um, is also quite important. Um, and not to be closed by what you know, to really try and draw from the scene um, and try and convey the specific message that you and the director are trying to get to the audience. And music has such a direct uh, connection to the emotions. So one never uh, should forget this. You know, it's something that really uh, communicates directly to your viewers' souls, you know. So, um, definitely keep this in mind. And 
I would suggest uh, not placating your whole form with music. You know, use music sparingly. Use music only when it's necessary, when it's really necessary. When you when you can't express what you're trying to express through the dialogue, through the actions, through the visuals, you know, then music steps in and uh, bridges those gaps and makes it easier for the uh, audience to grasp what you what message you are trying to get across i hope that helps you let's go on to another uh, subject and this is at what stage of the project the composer will get on board uh, with the production um, this differs from project to project sometimes uh, you like obviously the earlier you get involved with the project I feel the better. Uh, sometimes you will be lucky to get on board in the pre-production phase. I'm working on a project that, at the moment, uh, which is an animation project, and I'm actually involved with the uh, development of the story and the script. So it really gives me the opportunity to um, weave in all these different musical ideas so that they really become integral with the storyline and that makes it very exciting. It, so the music is really um, also uh, a big part of the film from right at the start. Uh, another possibility is that you get on board when uh, the script is already finalized this gives, gives you the opportunity to communicate with the director, go through the script, maybe do a spotting session. Um, this would be to maybe point out some scenes that you suspect are going to need some music, discuss the music. Um, this is also quite interesting, it is to find a type of language to translate music into words, you know, to, to communicate with the director and to try and be as open as possible with what words the director is using to communicate the music with you. Sometimes a director will use temp music and that's when they use pre-existing music um, to try and give you as a composer an impression of what atmosphere they're looking for. Um, this can be quite helpful but also sometimes a bit detrimental. Um, sometimes directors get uh, very stuck on what type of sound they're looking for and uh, you have to try and find a way to be inventive and to create something new and to really reinvent uh, the atmosphere of uh, of what the director is looking for, you know. So, um, uh, uh, to kind of have an impression of the music that you hear and then detaching yourself and creating something uh, truly fresh and new. Um, Another option is that you get on board with the project after the production, after the shoot. So at that stage, you will be able to see some visuals, uh, able to be uh, to hear some dialogue. Um, this can be quite influential. Uh, I find this very helpful um, to see what the cinematographer has done, what the type of lighting, uh, what the lighting. Uh, is like what they used, um, the costumes, uh, the way the camera moves, all of all of those aspects trickle through into your imagination and helps you to uh, conjure up something in the music. Um, then there's another option as well. This seldomly happens, but it uh, it's happened to me in the past. Uh, you can either, even get on board uh, a while later. This could be after another composer has worked on the film, the director isn't happy with uh, the music and you are invited to 
uh, recompose, to, to do a new score for the film. This is sometimes quite challenging and a lot of times the uh, budget and the time will be very much constrained. So, yeah, that's the, it does happen, but it's not ideal. I would say try and get involved. And if you are a director and you're listening to this, then try and get your composers on board as soon as possible. Um, it really does work to stretch out the creative process so that the composer could even sit in on the brainstorming sessions if you're still working on the script uh, or on the storyline. Um, yeah, all of these things help a lot uh, to, to get the uh, composer or musicians, um, if you're using a bit of a different approach, um, just to get them on board as soon as Next possible. Next subject we're going to tackle is how to choose existing music for a movie and the different copyright laws that are involved. Um, sometimes a director has a piece of music um, that they're very fond of. Uh, sometimes the piece of music can even inspire a scene, you know, so... Um, uh, what I would suggest in a situation like that, if you're, if you're a director and you're really set on using a specific piece of music, then I would suggest um, getting in touch with either the musician, if they are approachable, uh, the musician or the composer, or if they're not approachable, then getting in touch with their publisher, um, usually the publishers are noted on the records um, and you can uh, definitely contact them and see what the poss possibilities are of um, using a specific piece of music. Uh, what you have to be aware of uh, are the different uh, copyright laws that are involved. It is a much uh, more... Uh, but, uh, more, more of a tricky process um, because sometimes the musicians don't own all their uh, rights to the songs or the pieces of music and it definitely can complicate things. So, um, yeah, I would suggest really uh, work, working with this in a, in a very careful fashion and um, if you do have a piece of music that you're very fond of, get in touch with a musician if you can and ask them what you can do to uh, be able to use that piece of music in your film. Um, and yeah, just be aware that there will be separate costs to this. Um, uh, and sometimes it's a better idea, sometimes it's just easier to get someone to write you a piece of music that sounds similar, has the same atmosphere, uh, it will solve you a lot of headaches uh, down the road.